A rose by any other name would smell as sweet. But what if it were not a rose? How do you maintain the quality of dietary supplements? There's that big case in New York State questioning whether botanical ingredients have been adulterated. I'm here with Jay Kaufman, president of Paragon Labs in Los Angeles here. Um, New York State story, hatchet job, fair criticism, what's the story? Well, I think that the test that was chosen by the state attorney general's office was not the right test. Uh, DNA testing, I believe, is not the appropriate test for those supplements. All right. And so let's go inside and check out what you guys do to, uh, to vouchsafe the integrity and the quality of materials. And we could show the industry how you do it and how things get done right. The first thing we need to do is get suited up. Now I'm ready for action. They look good on you. <laughs> So here we are in the warehouse and I'm seeing just all real quality companies where this material is coming from. I see BI, I see Glambi, I see Naturex. Um, what, what, what goes on here? Well, this is our general warehouse area and all raw materials that actually are released to the general warehouse are vetted by QC. There is a vendor qualification as well as a raw material qualification. We test all the raw materials to specification to make sure that the raw materials meet spec and nothing in this warehouse actually ends up in a product without it first being vetted by QC. Are people still trying to, trying to cheat tests and, and does, does that mean you guys always have to kind of stay ahead or at least stay on top of what's going on in the market as far as what people might be spiking things with now and you develop a test for it and then you have to develop you know, I prefer talking about the process of testing. Yeah. It's always evolving. And you need to make sure you have the right test for the right raw material and the right test for the right finished product. Testing is very complicated. It's not as easy as putting a product into a machine like Star Trek and getting an end result. You have to make sure that that test is really the appropriate test for the particular product you're looking for. How much resources do you guys allocate toward the sort of backside of it, you know, not just the part of, of putting material into pills, but to testing and, and to validating that what you're putting in a pill is the right stuff. Well, I would say 20% of the cost of your supplement is the testing. It's a big part. Well, this particular instrument is one of the workhorses in the laboratory. We use it specifically to analyze marker compounds and also to analyze the finished product to make sure that the individual compounds in the product are at the proper amount, meaning label claim. This is one of our tablet presses, has the ability to put out a half a million tablets in a given day. And during that process, we're constantly checking for thickness, weight, and hardness. Additionally, what we'll check for is disintegration time or dissolution depending on the needs of the customer. So does that get tested in the machine or then afterwards does it go through a conveyor belt kind of thing where people are looking at them pill by pill? Sort of? Combination of all of that. Yeah. As we produce the product we're always checking weight, thickness and hardness and we're going to be testing for disintegration. During the inspection process we'll be looking for defects and we'll have a metal detector actually for the extra safety preventing any sort of metal type object ending up in the formulation. You don't want to run anything as it relates to being a lower pull potency. So we actually run the, the formula on the high side of weight so we never have a tablet that's below active ingredient weight, right. label claim weight. And then, so after half a million a day come out of here, does it, does it run past a conveyor belt where then people are Right, like, there's a conveyor belt with a metal detector on it and they sort out any defective tablets or, or capsules. just a rose after all? This isn't a rose, it's an azalea. And we know because we've tested it. Jay, I really appreciate you opening up Paragon Laboratories here to give us a real inside look at how the dietary supplements industry produces quality supplements. Really dig down deep in terms of the quality procedures that a company follows and look for an NSF GMP or MPA GMP facility, preferably both. And that is the last word. Jay, appreciate it again. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. All right. Please come again soon. We'll see you next time.